wake of yesterday's tragedy, the Department of Children and Families will require caseworkers to evaluate potentially delusional parents and caregivers sooner. West 2's Bob Keeling joins us now. And Bob, the new requirements are intended to better protect at risk children. That's right, Jim. Some see this new requirement as extraordinary. When calls come into the DCF hotline suggesting a parent or caregiver may be having some sort of mental health crisis, teams must respond within four hours. But are they equipped to do that? In the hands of God. In light of Phoebe John Chuck's murder, the head of the Department of Children and Families says they're making changes to better protect children in similar danger. Quote, after the tragic loss of Phoebe, the department is immediately changing our hotline criteria to include a trigger for when a caregiver is believed to be experiencing a psychotic episode that would require a visit within four hours and notification to law enforcement. We have to do more for the children like Phoebe who depend on us to protect them. They are uh, not equipped usually to respond in any kind of time limit. So for them to make themselves have a time limit, I find that very extraordinary. I think that's a little bit of a knee jerk reaction. Police say John Chuck's father called his lawyer God and asked her to translate a Bible. She became alarmed and called law enforcement, who saw no reason to take the child from him. It's actually very rare for. Uh, people to, particularly with severe uh, mental health concerns, uh, to act on that and act in a violent way. But psychologist Amanda Janner says delusional parents are often paranoid and believe what's happening to them is also happening to their children. As a result of uh, their delusional beliefs, they could be inadvertently harming the children, uh, thinking that they are protecting them in some way. And if you believe a parent or caregiver is delusional and presents a threat to a child, experts say call 911. All new at 5, we'll explore the fallout expected from these new DCF time requirements, Jim. Bob, thanks.